Hello, Mark Tax TV. Uh, Dave and Andy have joined me today. Dave and Andy, it's great to have you on. Uh, going to have a, a quick talk about the the weekend game and then look uh, at a uh, midweek game that we've got. Uh, I think we all know there's a certain South Yorkshire side coming to work well under the lights. Dave, just coming to you first. Uh, Wickham game. Uh, what I took in it is that first half, a bit hit and miss. It wants his best performance. But it was great to see that we never get up and Boban to chip in with a goal for his confidence, mate. Yeah, it was, um, I see, it's game best forgotten, you know, viewing wise, it wasn't pretty to watch. Um, it's definitely two points gained for me because I don't think either team deserved to win or lose that. Um, I thought Wickham had done their homework on us. They did extremely well, the same as Bristol Rovers did. And, you know, they came out of the traps flying in that, in that first half, well, after the incident was going. You know, they just pushed on from there and they, you know, pretty much dominated that. And, you know, apart from some poor finishing, they could have, they could have been a couple of goals that are good at the break. Um, I don't think the sun was helping the Barnsley defence in that first half. But um, we certainly didn't look any threat in the other in the other half of the, of the pitch either. And um, yeah, I was quite happy to go in at, um, at nil nil yesterday. Uh, obviously, Duff's had a word of them at half time again. Uh, they played better in the second half. And he's, he's made the substitutions that he... The ones you can pick now, you can literally say what, who's going to bring on, when he's going to bring them on. And um, yeah, Thomas has come on. He's uh, had an instant impact. He's... Um, all over the pitch like he normally is, chasing things down. He's mm. got the ball across for, for Tedich and yeah, great goal for his confidence. And just hope he can push on now because you know he he has done um, a lot better since he's come back into the side. But uh, with a strike, you need to get the goal to to get your confidence, you know, really up and going. And just hope he can push on from it now. Yeah, I mean, just going on from that, Andy. Uh, what Dave's been saying there is that you know some situations at key time, Wickham. Done the own work, you know. We, we know what they did on us when we were at Oak Well. Um, again, mm -hmm. a tough side to to try and compete against in in regards as a footballing side. We know we're all about we can, we, you know, we've been very, very bad. So I was at uh, a Wembley for playoffs and stuff uh, previous under Ainsworth, granted. But uh, again, a side and a, a ground, difficult ground to get to, uh, you know compared to Compact and their, their support as well. Great following by Barnsley. But, again, before we get to substitutes, what will you take on Addy starting in front of Brad? Uh, for me, I thought it was a great call and I think it's going to be an hard, hard for Brad to come back into his, uh, into his side. Yeah, I think it would have been very harsh to drop his stead. Um, I, I don't think he's put the foot wrong. Um Looks a solid keeper. I think they're two different types of keepers. I think probably Collins is better at like the modern day sweeper keeper. But no, I was glad he kept him in uh, instead. Um, and like I said, it would have been very harsh if he had got dropped. Um, I mean, I didn't see it game yesterday, um, but I was listening to it on radio, and it sounds like what, well, basically what I expected against uh, a Wickham team. No disrespect to them, like, but. Uh, yeah, making it difficult for us, um, scrap a game. But it shows that we can mix it up now. Um, you know, seasons ago we kept saying that there were no plan B or C or whatever, but it looks like we've got that now in his locker, uh, which is good. Um, and yeah, pleased uh, for Tedich as well, um, getting his goal. And I think that's what he needed. Um, and it gives Duff... Uh, a bit of an edit now, who he starts uh, on Tuesday. I, I know who I'd, oh, I'd start with, I'll probably leave that till later in the video, but uh, mm. um, yeah, um, he deserved it. Uh, it. It does work hard, Teddy, and he just needed that goal, and it, it wasn't just a goal, you know, that came off his thigh or, or whatever, it, it, you know, a decent goal, and that's just going to do wonder spot, lad. Uh, so yeah, um, it was what I expected yesterday, and uh, you know, sneaking that goal in. Um, excellent. Just sets it up perfectly and I've done it for Tuesday. Um, and I can't wait for that now. 
Yeah, just going on to shows there. Yeah, I mean, Terich, for me, you know, again, it, I think it one of them games, I probably agree, I disagree with this, but I think it one of them games last season, if it had been nil-nil, we'd, we'd probably either have held that for a nil-nil or possibly could have ended yeah. up losing. And I think I his, his spirit and everything inside under Duff has got him playing until final whistle kind of thing. And now to see a game out, uh, again, about Addy jumping down at ball, in he's not daft, is is showing back a bit of bit of what can I say experience, but a bit of footballing know how what to do to buy a few minutes, yeah. and I think that's what we've been lacking. It's great to see that he's coming into his game. So yeah, going on to you know a, a tough uh, side against Wickham, but we've come away with three points. Going on to a certain game, Dave on Tuesday against a uh, South Yorkshire neighbour. Um, again, close to being a sellout, uh, Ponty and East and that. What's your take on this? I, I, you know, eight o'clock kick off. Uh, obviously, we're rearranged fixtures because of FA Cup uh, clashes and that previous. So, yeah, how do you see this going, Dave? And, you know, any changes you'd make? Um, I, it, it's one of these games where, you know, regardless of where you are in the league, regardless of form, it's one of those games where they all go out the window and it, what happens in that 90 minutes happens in the 90 minutes. You know, we could be bottom of the league, we could be top of the league, Wednesday could be the opposites. And you just you just can't call it because it, it's one of those games. And, and um, it's going to be... It is, it is, it's massive. Um, you know, I, I, we still can catch Wednesday, but, you know, we still can catch. But um, for me, it's imperative that we just keep playing the way we do. Um, no disrespect to the likes of Wickham and Bristol, but they'll be a completely different game. They'll let us play like Plymouth let us play and Portsmouth let us play. Let us play. You know, it's a lot of the ball was in the air on Saturday all the time and it's it's not the way we do business. And um, it'll be a completely different game. It'll play, it'll play well for us, but again, it'll play well for them. And um, we just got to do what we do. And... We've just got to put on the performances that we get in the home these days. I mean, look at the last two against um, Plymouth and Portsmouth. They were both brilliant, you know, fantastic performances and um, against top quality teams. And um, you've shown what we can do when we, you know, look pretty comfortable in both games, to be honest, you know, especially after we've taken the lead. Um, and I think they, when's he going to be aware of, you know, the run that we're on, they're on a great run as well. You know, they're undefeated in E three games, I think, it is. and we're in eleven games now, and it's it's just set for one of them epic clashes. Like I just hope that it lives up to the hype. But only I hope that we can get the three points. Um, I'd stick with the same team, but I'd possibly change Watters. Um, I still start Tenich on the bench, but I think um, I'd be putting Cole back in because I just think mm. his his pace and his his enthusiasm it just he just does more for me on the pitch than Watters does. Yeah. He didn't show anything to justify his start on Saturday, and um, I don't like changing winning teams. You know, I think you know, if you can play the same eleven, play the same eleven. I wouldn't have brought Watters in yesterday personally, so that would be the only change for me. But um, yeah, it's going to be absolutely massive, massive game. Well, we can't afford to drop points in and neither can they to be honest but you know I don't care about them I care about us we need three points it's it's imperative we get them to you know keep you know in touch with the top two also to keep the momentum going on our run and yeah it's going to be a massive massive test on Tuesday and we've, we've got the guns to do it we have and I really hope we can you know show that on the pitch and come away with the three points. Yeah, good shout that way. Both teams needing to play foot points for your own particular reason. Obviously, we with the Island League. I mean, I'm just looking. Uh, Chef Wednesday now they've won, 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 drawn, and Barnsley have won, won, drawn, won, won, won. So very similar to what you're saying with form, Dave. Uh, Andy, just going to you, mate. I mean, I've, I have seen on some uh, social media. Uh, some people like saying, oh, this is the time to bring Brad Collins back in, in front of Harry against Wednesday. I'm thinking, and I've questioned it, but there's been no replies. And I've like questioned, well, for what reason? What have you seen? But for me, I get where Dave's coming from on this, Andy, is that 
I wouldn't make wholesale changes, but I agree with what you said via straight away with Watters. I would I would start a Devante call. I mean, we knew what he played like at Hillsborough earlier in the season when we won via. Um and again, I'd in my my opinion, apart from that change, what Dave said, I agree with that. I'd most keep it like for like and there's there's a lot on there's a lot at stake for both sides, isn't there, uh, Andy, for obvious reasons. Yeah. Um that's what I was gonna say regarding Ted Itch and uh you know making changes. Um personally, but, well, like what Dave's just said, uh, I'd start calling Norwood up front, um, mm. without a doubt. Um yeah, uh, like I said before, I can't see why uh, we should start Collins. Um, like I said, his stead's done all right. Well, it's done brilliant, I think. Um, I think um, Luke Thomas as well is very, very close to pushing for a starting. Mm-hmm. I saw him play uh, in midweek uh, for under-23s and he scored a great goal and he looked sharp uh, in that game. So fitness all the even with that Andy, were he, were he actually getting stuck involved and that like he won't shine out? Yeah. No, no, I won't shine out now. He will he will getting stuck in and hmm. I, I know it's a different uh, level uh, under twenty threes, but yeah, he did he did play well. Uh, they, they played uh, Burnley uh, at home. Um and yeah, it, it, it don't look far off to me. Uh, so again, it's a, a good option, a good edit for Duff to have. Uh, but mm. no, I, I don't think uh, we should tinker it just for sake of it. Um, but yeah, like I said, I agree totally with Dave. Uh, take what is that and put Cole back in. Uh, that's what I'd do. Um, apart from that, barring any other little niggles, uh, just keep it as it is for me. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think we all can agree, if not the vast majority of uh, Barnsley fans and like so let us know your comments about this. But I think if you keep the winning side together, you, you know, the midfield, the defence kind of looks after it and they understand one another's games. They, especially, I mean, our, our back, back line lately, it just seems to be so in sync. It's unreal. Bobby yeah. Thomas, Anderson and Kitchen. Uh, when obviously you've got Williams and Karen down either side, I think they're, they're kind of understanding what role to drop in. So, just going back to it, Dave, I mean, obviously, Wednesday going to be up for it, they're going to do their own work on it. It's going to be a different game altogether, what we're going to expect. If we drew against that, I don't think it'd be a disappointing result if we drew against uh Wednesday, would you, uh, Dave? Um, it, it's not the end of the world. It's um, you know the, th- the main thing is that we don't lose and you know mm. you know put an end to this this good run we're on. The longer we can keep this run going, then you know the better. Especially in you know the run into the the end of the season. You know it's um, we had that great run back in 2016 after Christmas when we went up against Millwall in the playoffs, and you know we had that run was incredible from where we were. And we've started a, a similar sort of run, albeit from a better position this time around. But, you know, the teams around us, you know, bar Derby on Saturday, they're, they're all winning, uh, picking up points. Um, so a draw wouldn't be disastrous. It depends where you're looking for. I mean, I'm, I still believe, and I never thought I'd be saying this at the start of the season, I still believe we can make second. I still mm. believe automatic promotion is very realistic. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. And, and the playoffs are, you know, nothing wrong with being in the playoffs, but I think we've we've got the the fixtures. I think we've got the players now for a good running, and I think, you know, if if Plymouth can slip up and let us sneak in there, then I, I think we. I think that's. If I was a betting man, I'd be betting on the second, finishing second place. But a draw against Wednesday wouldn't be bad. But obviously, it's it'd be two points. Further back from them, um, Plymouth. It's yeah. and then it, but then it all comes down to the the Ipswich, the Ipswich games and the massive one. So it's uh, a draw wouldn't be disastrous, you know. Um, but I'd, I'd be disappointed. I, I really mm. would want to win, but I, that's just just me. I I, I just want to win every game, you know. Even yeah. even if we were playing. Manchester City or Arsenal, I'd be, I'd be wanting to win. You know, to draw 
yeah, it's all right, but I'm just one of those that just wants to win every game, and especially against Sheffield Wednesday. You know, <laughs> I want I want the bragging rights. You know, there's, there's no there's no there's no shame in drawing against them. They're a, they're a great team. They've shown this season what they can do. They're not top of the league for no reason. Mm. But uh, even the, and the fact they're top of the league is even more of an incentive just to put another one over on them and doing the double in the season as well. That'd be absolutely in the fantastic. Season. It'd just yeah. be superb. So, yeah, a draw would be good, but a win would be perfect. Absolutely perfect. Nice, not cake. Andy, uh, just going off from what Dave was saying, then, you know, it's a game that's it's going to prove its own challenges. Uh, score prediction, hold up. You know, what, what, your head, in, your head or your heart score prediction, and who do you think is going to be the most important player for Barnsley on, on pitch for us on the day? Um, Unlike Dave, I'd be disappointed with a draw because I want to absolutely batter him uh, on Tuesday. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but He's, I can't... I just, so I that's your heart rather than your head. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't stand him at all. Um, <laughs> we played him at, off at Park at their place. Um, I can't see any reason why we can't do it on Tuesday. Um, yeah, I'm it's going to as well, so it's going to be bouncing yeah. atmosphere, isn't it? By both yeah. sets of fans, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to go with my art. Um, like I said, I work uh, with uh, a Chef Wednesday fan as well, so I don't want to go back into work and uh, incoming round. Otherwise, You've got I'm your gonna, own battle off going then for bragging rights. Yeah, otherwise I'm going to close line him when he comes up to me. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, want to, I want to absolutely batter him, ideally. Uh, let, let's stop the unbeaten run. Um, Soddy, I'm going to go for a 4-0 to, to Barnsley. 4-0? Oh, no. Yeah, I am. Uh, what you've been Soddy. drinking? <laughs> <laughs> four and no. I'm, hoping no, I'm hoping no one feels the same as well, because I know no one uh, uh, really don't like him as well. So, yeah, Soddy, 4-0. Like, let's four absolutely... Nil and, uh, let's scream him. 4-0 to, to Nadia Easter, screaming at trick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Kevich comes off at bench and knocks fourth one in. That'll do for me. I said not Caitlin. That'll do for Andy. <laughs> Dave, uh, Andy's been on Wappy Juice today, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I get where you're coming from, Andy. Yeah, I mean, like I said at Hillsborough, we did. We, you know, we had sung them at times, and we had played them, and we did a job, and it, everything uh, clicked all right. Again. Going back to you, Dave, uh, it'd be great to have bragging rights and doing double of them, uh, especially being being top at league as well. But a bit of extra incentive if they need it. Uh, what, what's your score prediction? Oh, if Andy's saying for only over five, then <laughs> get in. I like it. <laughs> That's what I like. No, ser- <laughs> seriously, seriously. I'm, I'm, I've got a feeling we're going we're to get a 3 1 win. The 3 1 win I did against Portsmouth. Mm-hmm. Cool. 3 1 win. I'm going for Barnes to win. Uh, I just think being at home, uh, we can play like we did, you know, in the past few weeks in, in his own games. In fact, we've really been taking it to him. Um, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going 2 1 Barnsley. Obviously, I think they've got goals in them. Uh, like you said, they're not at the top of the league for notes. Uh, the Jewel mm. on Friday night, uh, that were a result for us, Bold, uh, you know. Had a bit of your, I won't think of the same. It's did as a favour for, Bol- uh, for Bolton. Yeah. Um, but again, perfection, a good following of a, it's going to be some different atmosphere, nice, great atmosphere. Um, but I'm going Barnes to win 2 1. I think, I don't know what your take on this will be, but I think midfield will be key. Um, obviously, they've got beyond threat in, in midfield, we all know about them, but. I'd, see, this is where I'm a bit undecided if it's between Herbie Kane or Luke O'Connell was going to be key for us to either to get stuck in or try and dictate play. But I'm just going to go Herbie Kane on this. Uh, I think I've been playing, he's been knocking on the door and I think he's been improving uh, week on week now, whether that's because of uh, the team he's in or the, the training and the Duff and uh, Devaney kind of input. But I think... Is Fanny's match with Luca Connor? I think they complement one another pretty well, them too. So for me, I'm just going to be Kane, who I think will be important for us. So I don't know. Andy, I mean, who do you think will be an important player for us at night? Um, yeah, I think I'd go along with that. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd go along with that for, uh, with Connell. Um, obviously, they've. Uh, 
got that midfielder as well, haven't they? Uh, Brannon. No, I'm Bannon in it. I'm only uh, joking. <laughs> but yeah, they've got him. Um, mm. So yeah, I think it's going to be uh, an absolute war in midfield, I think, on Tuesday. Mm. But yeah, Connell. Um, and also, yeah, Kane. I, I think them two is going to be uh, pivotal for us, honestly, do. Mm. Dave, uh, who do you think most important player or players who will be for us on, uh, on tonight? Well, I think Phillips is due a, a good game. He, he he wasn't at the races yesterday. Um, mm. He had one effort that went for three points over the bar. But um, he was, wasn't in the game at all yesterday. So I think he he probably knows he wasn't, you know, the, the player that he can be. So I think he'll be, he, I think he'll be up for it. And um, I think he'll be important there, but Kane as well, like you say, he's he's come into his own in the last well, probably since we've gone on this run. Actually, he's you know mm. he's turned into a, a really good player, which is another thing I never thought I was going to say, but he has really really impressed me. So I think um, I think that those those will be the key players in the middle, but also Connell and Kitchen are going to be important for me. Yeah. For the performances on the pitch and the way they play the game, but they, mm. they're both going to have to be at the top of their game, especially Kitchen. But they just need to... It's going to be a fiery atmosphere. It's going to be a fiery game. Like I say, it's going to be a massive battle in midfield. I don't want people getting carried away, losing the Reds. We saw Kitchen yesterday with another stupid yellow card. Yeah, yeah. And you can't yeah. afford to do that early on. Got away with it yesterday. Mm. It could have been a lot worse. Just what's happened before when they've given away stupid yellow cards. Mm. And I think Kitchen and Connell have got, you know, they're that sort of player that can pick up silly cards. And in a game as it's going to be on Tuesday, you can't afford to be picking up stupid ones. You know, if, if you've got to, you know, make a challenge for whatever reason, then, you know, you, t- you take the card then, you do. But throwing the ball away, it's, it's just, it's just yeah. pathetic. I mean, you get a card for that. And then if you, you know, do put in a challenge later on, you've got to watch what you're doing first of all. But if you put in that mm-hmm. challenge and you mistime it, it's not the yellow card and you've gone. And you've gone for like a, a yellow card and a, a throwing a ball away instant. It's it's, it's yeah. ridiculous. And that can, that can turn yeah. games. So I, I think they they need to... Connell was... Um, some of his challenges yesterday, they, they were late, um, clumsy. And, you know, I think... Uh, the Wednesday players all, you know, will, will be playing for that, um, and they, they'll know the players that they've got to watch out around. They'll know the ones that have got fiery tempers, and they'll, they'll play to that. And I fully mm-hmm. expect us to do exactly the same against um, you know the people in their team. But yeah, they need to keep their heads tomorrow um, on Tuesday night, and just don't don't see red, don't see red, and don't mm-hmm. get given red. You know it's. We need to keep 11 players on the pitch. We don't want to go around losing any players, especially, you know, yeah. it'll have an impact on the game. And then you've got the, you know, the, the games, the band for afterwards. And they're just thinking if I read a South Yorkshire derby, there's certain players that are going to be up for it, but maybe a, a little bit too much up for it. So, mm-hmm. you know, keep your heads, try and play sensibly. But yeah, I think. That the, the the midfield there, Kane, Phillips, the key players for me, and then the other two to put in solid performances, but just be careful and you know try and time things right and don't get carried away in the moment. Yeah, go sharp that. Yeah, uh, uh, South Yorkshire Derby. Uh, like you say, it's going to be. We know there's going to be tackles going in. But don't pick up silly, needless yellow cards. What potentially could lead to sending off later on for, like you said, via kicking yeah. ball away. And if you get like a, a bit of a petty ref, who knows something like that could like affect and ruin the game. Um, and not, you know, I mean, for both sets of fans, to be fair, yeah. If it's like if it warrants it, fair enough. But again, if there's at times like this, you know, it's going to be a big atmosphere, a big game for both sides. You don't want to talk like that silly decision. To ruin it, uh, it just ruins it for fans. It makes a bit of a mockery of game. It's not a true competitive game. But yeah, good shout on that, Dave. Um, so yeah, Dave and Andy, uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for taking your time out. We're doing a two in one special. 
Wickham reflection and looking forward to obviously a big game coming up on Tuesday night, eight o'clock. Um, we're both going for well, we're all going for wins. Um, Andy's been on like uh, Wappy Juice, he's gone for added to scoring that trick and going for a <laughs> note. So, uh, but no, I appreciate the input. Uh, have you sent have you saying comments below as well? Let us know your thoughts about starting 11, uh, score predictions, and stuff like that. Please like, subscribe, and share. I know you always do, appreciate it. Uh, Dave and Andy, thanks for taking your time out. I've appreciated Pleasure. it. Uh, have, have a good rest of the week and what's left in it. Uh, and look forward to Barnes' win against Sheffield Wednesday on Tuesday night. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs> <laughs>